Hello, good morning. You're welcome to our lecture series on codex. Today's lecture will be on the classification of birds and the class apes. And apes are actually winged bipedal endothermic creatures. They are said to possess wings for flight and they are endothermic in that they are warm blooded, unlike the amphibians and the reptiles. And they also possess beaks uh, without teeth and their feet are modified for, their hind limbs are modified for walking, perching and running as well as swimming while their forelimbs are modified into wings for flight. Those are the distinctive features of the apes. So we want to now look at the various classes of these apes. Now, modern birds or the current birds or the extant bird, birds uh, or in species of birds in the class apes belong to the subclass Neonithis. The subclass Neonithis has about 27 others, which are discussed below in subsequent slides. The first other we want to look at is the other passeriformis or passeriforms. This other consists of the sparrows, the night, nightingales, the uh, birds of paradise and other songbirds and Persian birds. These birds are referred to as the songbirds. They possess well-developed vocal organs and have Persian feet. Their young are dependent on their parents. Now, some birds give back to young ones that are naked and are very fragile and they will have to wait for their parents to come and keep feeding them to incubate them. And that's basically how they are young or after being hatched. This other, this other has about 5,700 species in 74 families and are found worldwide. They are found throughout the world. They have a high biodiversity. Members of this other consist of over half of all existing bird species. And they range in size from 7.5 to 125 centimeters. That's from three to 49 inches. Now, this is a typical example of uh, those birds and the other seriformis. The other uh, seriformis and this bird is called the Eurasian nineteen girl. Now I want to look at the next other apodiformis. The other apodiformis. The other apodiformis consists of the swifts and the human birds. The swifts and the human birds belong to this other. These birds are rapid flying birds that feed in flight upon insects and nectar or nectar. They are rapid flying birds. They are weather, they are, they are, they are wings, are, uh, they move at a very constantly high speed. Sometimes it's even difficult to see their wings. They are rapid flying birds. They have a rapid wing beat. They possess short, weak legs and small bodies. Their legs are very small. That's why the word apodiformis is as if they don't even have legs, apodi, which means apodi without legs or something. So their legs are usually very minute uh, to the point that it looks as if they don't even have legs. Their length is 6.3 to 23 centimeters. That's 2.5 to 9.1 inches. The other has 431 species in three families. They have a worldwide distribution except in extreme north, found throughout the world. Now here is a picture of the coastal human bird feeding on nectar. And when feeding on this nectar, it beats its wings so fast when feeding, while feeding. The next is the other pissary forms, the other pissary forms, which consists of the woodpeckers, the tokens, the honey guards, and others of that kind. 
these birds are characterized by the possession of a grasping feet, chisel like sharp builds that can break down wood. Now, these uh, birds, they have feet that can grasp, they can grasp the, their prey, okay? The woodpeckers, they can feed on fish and other organisms. Okay, they possess a chisel like sharp bills. They have chisel like sharp bills, and these sharp bills can break down woods. They can use them to peck on woods to create holes. They are whole nesting birds that feed upon insects and fruit. They are whole nesting birds that feed on insects on insects and fruit. This order has 383 species in six families and has a worldwide distribution and are found in forests. Their length is 7.5 to 61 centimeters. That's 3.23 to 24 inches. Now here's the woodpecker, already pecking the wood to create a hole. It is called the downy woodpecker. The next other we want to look at is the other charred reformers, which consists of the goose, the sandpipers, the ox, and allies, or other species of these four. This other has 359 species in 14 families and are found worldwide. They possess long, silk like web footed legs and slender probing beams. They have long, silk-like, stilt-like, web-footed legs and slender probing bills. Their length is 12 to 75 centimeters. They have a length of 12 to 75 centimeters. Now, these are, this is the heron goose. Okay, it's a waging bird. The next other is the other Cetaciformis. Or forms. These birds possess very large, powerful hook bills for crushing seeds and zygodectal feet. And they, this zygodectal feet are said to be feet in which the second and third toes face forward and the first and fourth toes face backward. They possess well developed vocal organs and are often brightly colored. They are strong flying birds. They feed on seeds, fruits, and nectar. And typical examples are the parrots. Parrots belong to this other set of formis. The other has about 353 species in one family. They are found in the tropical zone. Some species are found in the temperate zone. Their body length is 8 to 100 centimeters. That's 3.2 to 39 inches long. It's a gray parrot, Cetisus erythacus. It's a gray parrot of the other Cetaciformis. Now, the next other I want to look at is the other Columbiformis or Columbiforms, which consists of the, the pigeons and the doves. The other has over 300 species in one family and are distributed worldwide except in the extreme north. They are perching birds that possess round, short bodies. Perching birds that possess round, stout bodies. They are fast flying birds with pointed wings and with bills. They are frugivores as they feed on seeds and fruit. The length of their bodies are 15 to 120 centimeters long. That's 5.9 to 47.2 inches long. And they consist of the doves and the pigeons. Now here's the morning dove. That's a typical example of organisms in this order. The next order is the other falciformis or falciforms, which has the eagles, the falcons, the hawks, the donor birds of prey. They are all donor birds of prey. These are carnivorous birds. They possess sharp pointed beaks for tearing flesh and they also possess they also possess keen vision. 
they have keen vision, which enables them to successfully hunt their prey. They are usually active during the day. That's why they are said to be done of birds. Their length is 14 to 150 centimeters. That is 5.5 to 9, uh, 59 inches. This other has 306 species in three families. Now here is the picture of the bald eagle of this order. The other galliforms. Chickens, grows, pheasants, quail, and others belong to this other galliforms. These birds are character characterized by their limited ability to fly and their possession of rounded bodies. They also possess strong scratching feet and short rounded wings and their feathers with long aftershafts. They are either terrestrial or arboreal. So the chickens belong to this other. The other has 281 species in five, five families. They have a nearly worldwide distribution except South and South America. They have a length of 100 and uh, a length of 15 centimeters to more than 200 centimeters. That's 5.9 to more than 79 inches in length. Now these are, there's a picture of a hen and a rooster of the other. Now the next other is the other gray forms or gray forms which has cranes and allies. The other has 210 species in 11 families. They are characterized by the possession of long, steel like legs. They possess diverse body shapes and inhabit marshes. They are found worldwide. Their length is 12 to 176 centimeters. Now, this is the mud hen, the mud hen of the other. Now, we look at the other procellariformis, procellariformis, or procellariforms, which are tube-nosed seabirds, tube-nosed seabirds. These are web-footed marine birds with tubular nostrils and tube-shaped bills. They have tubular nostrils. They are marine birds, web-footed marine birds. They have tubular nostrils and tube-shaped bills. Most of them have narrow wings and stiff gliding flight. They possess a musky smell. This other has 108 species in four families, including albatross, shearwaters, and petrels. They are found in oceans worldwide, but most numerous in the southern hemisphere. Their body length is 13 to 200 centimeters. Albatross will expand, expand more than three feet, that's 10 feet, with the longest wingspan found in birds. Now, these are the gray headed albatrosses, the mother and the, and the child. The next other we want to look at is the other Chorasiformis. Chorasiformis which has the kingfishers and allies. This is a heterogeneous group of whole nesting birds. Many of them have long pointed bills and blue or green plumages. They feed mainly on small animals, especially fishes, except hornbills, which eat much fruit. This other has 211 species in eight families, including the the uh, kingfishers. They are found worldwide except in extreme north. Their body length is 10 to 120 centimeters. Now this is the bee eater, uh, also among those in the other forms. The next order is the other strigiformis, which consists of the owls. These are nocturnal reptile birds, that's predatory birds or birds of prey with strong hooked beaks, 
powerful feet, strong talons, and soft plumage. This other has over 20 species in two families. They are found worldwide and their lengths are 12 to 69 centimeters. The orbs, they are actually nocturnal, usually found being active at night. Now, this is a picture of the common band or just as it's seen, they have very powerful talons, very strong legs for capturing their prey. And they have hooked bills too to tear their prey, their birds of prey. The next other is the other cochleiformes. So cochleiformes, it consists of the turacos, the cuckoos, and allies. This other consists of long-tailed birds with rearward or sideward facing toes. They feed on both fruits and small animals and are mostly arboreal, though a few are terrestrial. Some are brood parasites. The other has 152 species in two families, including the, the cuckoos, the taracos, the turacos, and others. They are found worldwide except in extreme knot, they are their body lengths are 16 to 76 centimeters. Now, this is the cocoa that is cocoa species of the other we just discussed about. Now, we have the other Anseriformis, which consists of the streamers, the water flower, waterfowls, such as the ducks, the geese, and the swans. Birds in this order are characterized by the possession of webbed toes and broad bill with filtering ridges. This other has 147 species in two families. They include the dogs, geese, and swines. They are found worldwide. They are 34 to 180 centimeters in length. Now, these are pictures of birds and other Anseriformis, which consist of the geese, which these geese and the ducks. Now the other Siconiformis, or Siconiformis, which has the herons, the stoks, and allies. These are long-legged wading birds with long bills and large bodies. Their feet are not webbed. This order has 120 species in six families. They are distributed worldwide except in extreme north. They are 25 to 152 centimeters in length. Now here is the here are the birds of the other Siconiformis, and here is an heron, heron, and we have the cattle eaglet that of the other. Now this, the next other is the other Caprimogiformis, or Caprimogiformis, which consists of the night chairs. These are uh, nocturnal birds that are consistently colored with weak feet, soft plumage, and very large mouths. Most of them feed on insects caught in flight. This other has 105 species and five families, are distributed worldwide except in the extreme north. They are one are they are 15 to 60 centimeters in length. Now this is a male common nature. Male common nature. The next order is an other pelicaniformis, which consists of the pelicans and allies. This other consists of water birds with webbed toes. Their bills are hooked or straight and sharply pointed. This other has 62 species and five families and are distributed worldwide. They are 48 to 188 centimeters in length. And these are the pelicans. The other tanimo, tanimiformis, or tanimiformis, which consists of the tanimors. These are ground-dwelling birds that resemble quills or pheasants with flat, elongated, and rather weak bills and very small tails. 
49 species of birds belong to this other, and they all belong to one family. They are found in Central and South America. There are 20 to 53 centimeters in length. This is the uh, Mill Highland Tenemore, okay, with the newly hatched chick. The next other we want to look at is the other trogoniformis, the other trogoniformis, which is made up of the trogons. The birds in this other are characterized by the possession of extremely soft plumage and weak feet. First and second toes directed backward, they are arboreal birds that feed on insects and small fruit. The other has 79 species in one family. They are tropical birds. They are 23 to 40 centimeters in length. This is the male resplendent quetzal, uh, okay, or replendent dragon. Now here we have another order, the order Odysseus. Odysseus which consists of the grapes. These are food prepared diving birds with lobed toes, minute, minute tails, and silty plumage. There are 22 species in this order, and they belong to one family. They are found worldwide. They they are 20 to 78 centimeters in length. The next other is the other Phenisiformis, which consists of the penguins, the other Phenisiformis. These are flightless amphibious birds that are mostly found in oceans and the polar region. They are short and stout. They stand upright and their feathers are short and dense. Now, the short and dense feathers enables them to survive in the polar region. That's to say that they have thick coats of insulating feathers that are molted in arches. The thick coat of insulating feathers give them that warmth when they swim and do not let water to penetrate. And as such keeps the bird warm since they inhabit the polar region. They possess webbed feet and flipper-like wings, which, which they use, which they swing for propelling underwater. They swing for propelling underwater. This other has 70 species in one family. They are 35 to 115 centimeters in length. These are the emperor penguins in the polar region. The next order is the order Phonicopteriformis, which consists of the flamingos. These are web-footed birds with long legs, long necks, bent bills with lamellae, and much pink or red in plumage. This other has five species in one family. They are this continuously distributed in warm regions, except in Australia. They are 80 to 160 centimeters in length. Here's the flamingo, the Caribbean flamingo. The next order of birds is the other Carquariformis, which consists of the emus and the cassowaries. These are very large cursorial or running birds Males and females look alike. They are either brown, in the case of the emus, blackish with bright colored wattles and skin on the head. That's for the cursewares. The aftershaft is very large. This other has six species in two families. They are found in Australia, New Guinea, and adjacent islands. They are 120 to 119 centimeters in length. This is a picture of the emu, of the other which has discussed. Then we now look at the other gaviformis, which consists of the loons. 
These are foot propelled diving birds with webbed foot and pointed bills. The other has five species in one family and are found in the North Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere. They are 53 to 91 centimeters in length. This is a common loon or great north, northern diver. The other coliforms are the coliforms. Now, it consists of the colis and the mouse birds. These birds are characterized by the possession of soft plumage with long pointed tails and with all four toes directed forward. They are largely vegetarian, some feed on insects. Six species belong to this other and they belong to one family. They are found in Africa, south of the Sahara. They are 29 to 36 centimeters in length. Now these are, the, this is a red faced scoli. Now the other denoniformis, denonithiformis, which consists of the moose and the coos, denonithiformis. These are small, almost wingless, flightless, nocturnal, and probing birds. They are small, they are almost wingless, their wings are very small, they are flightless, they don't fly, they are nocturnal, being active at night, and they have probing, uh, they are probing birds. This other has only three living species in one family. They are confined to New Zealand. They are found only in New Zealand. They, their length is from 35 to 55 centimeters. Now this is the flightless kiwi which lives in New Zealand. The next other is the other rare formis reformis, which consists of the reeds. These are ostrich-like costerial birds with very small tails. They lack aftershafts on the feathers and males and females are alike. This other has only two species in one family and are found only in South America. They are 90 to 130 centimeters in length. And this is the Darwin's reed. Now we want to look at the other strothiformis, strothioniformis, which consists of the ostriches. These are two toed cursorial birds. The males are black and white, while the females are brown. They possess aftershafts and feel of plums are absent. Only one extant species is found in Africa. They are the largest living birds. They are 100 and they are 1.7 to 2.7 meters in length. That's 5.6 to 8.9 feet in height. Now these are the ostriches that are found in Africa, Nigeria to be precise. Thanks a lot for watching. We have now come to the conclusion of our discussion of the classification of birds. Please watch out for more videos, especially on mammals. That will be the next video to be presented. Thank you.